So we are here not to scare you, but to enlighten you. I'm so <laughs> well, this yeah, stuff scares me. I'm scared, it just makes you nervous when you get on a plane and the people next to you have a mask on. I mean, yeah. mm -hmm. I suppose they're wearing a mask for a reason, and it could be a good reason. Well, this virus is a member of a family of viruses that causes respiratory infections. It can range from the common cold all the way to SARS, which kills you. This strain has never been seen before. It seems to be in the Middle East. That's where almost all the cases have been acquired. We don't know what the reservoir is. We don't know what animals uh, the exposure has resulted in transmission. There have been now, I think, 13 cases and seven deaths. So it's very deadly if you get it. But the transmission between people to people, we only have a couple of cases. So this is not sustained person-to-person -person transmission that suggests there is not a big risk of a big epidemic occurring. Right now, unless something changes. That's correct. Right. The World Health Organization is very sophisticated in surveillance, and they are at the current time saying, don't worry about it, there's no active screening necessary. Think about the number of people that live in or go to these countries, and we've had 13 cases worldwide in six months. What is your thought in terms of what is a reservoir? I mean, where, where, where is this virus? Yeah. probably coming from. It's a great question. You know, there are some very smart genetics people out there that looked at the genes in the virus and say it looks related to other viruses they find in bats. Now, that doesn't mean that bats are the reservoir. Mm -hmm. It could be something else, but it is suggestive that it could be. Well, if, if that's the case, should we be scared that we have a bunch of bats in the house? <laughs> Me too. Yeah, if we do, we'll be sharing those with you later. Um, okay, great. Um, can, we, can, we, can we cancel that segment? Just kidding. But these bats haven't been to the Middle East. That's so. right. Yeah. So I, think I, I do think the now. one. I think the one thing that we could pay attention to with a story like this is we have to be more cognizant that with international travel and the ease with which we crisscross the continents. Mm -hmm. You know, it really does promote the possibility that, God forbid, if one of these infectious agents does develop easier transmissibility from person to person, if we ever are on this show saying to you, don't travel here, <laughs> it's because at that point in time, we wouldn't travel there. Right yeah. now we're saying, mm -hmm. travel, it's, it, don't, don't worry about it, don't stress about it, just be aware that it's out there.